Okay, what we're doing in this uh, little video is showing how to convert a Rhino model to a 3D PDF. The first thing you need to do is convert that model to Rhino 3 format. It's on the pull down tab of the Save As menu. So you can see, to see there, you get given the option of saving it as a Rhino 3 or a Rhino 4 file. You then import that model into Adobe Acrobat. The model instantly, once it's imported, will convert into Adobe for, into a PDF format, and you can see you've got a 3D model that can be seen in a standard Adobe Reader. A few things that are recommended to do first, though, is to prepare prepare some pre-selected views, which makes it easier to navigate the model to pre-selected positions. First thing you need to do is toggle the model tree, and these are the the camera shots. Of the various positions. You press the little camera button at the top there and that will keep that view. Double click on the camera of the new view and you can then put in the fresh name. Manipulate the model to the various positions you want using the navigation tools Orbit, Pan and Zoom. So you have used those three tools to get to this fresh location. Press the camera button again and you've captured a new viewing position. Double click it twice, type in the view name that you want, and again just orbit the model around until you get a position which is appropriate for you. Just a third view for this case. And you can sort of see how simple it is to manipulate this model around. It's not a modelling tool, it's a viewing tool. It just provides your client with a way to transport and view your models in a, or your designs in a dynamic fashion. This is just showing you how to delete the various views if you don't require them and we've just kept the prime views of the model in this case. Now these models can be seen on a standard Adobe Reader, so any computer can view your models now dynamically without specialist software and undue expense, as long as the computer is reasonably up to date. Okay, the next tool to look at is the cross-section tool. If you want to see inside your models, you can enable a cross-section function in the, uh, in the file. So to see we've just cut through the top floor there. Save the view again as before, double clicked to get a, a view name. Scroll down and adjusted the cross section slightly to get a cross section through the top floor, or the bottom floor rather. Save the view. Just delete it and repeat. You can sort of see we can adjust that cross section dynamically so we can see progressively through the model from a variety of positions. We wanted an additional view of that top floor. Take it down slightly. Position it using the navigation tools. Save the view. Name the view. And we're going well. So the next thing we can look at is just the various ways we can present the model. There's a number of defaults there. The one that I find most useful generally is solid outline and you can also show the model in a variety of lighting conditions in a schematic sense. Okay, so that's showing you the basic overall tools for a 3D PDF file. Hope you find that useful.